All right. So this is a video to help better explain the individual project that is due on November 29th. Um, although for some of you, it may be very self-explanatory. I already have one student that's already turned in their project, but for other people, it may not be. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. And then you can play this video back as often as you need to. All right, let's go. So, as I've already said, the projects due November 29th is worth 100 points. There's no late projects. Um, you can begin working on it now if you want, and early submissions are very, 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 very much encouraged. I recommend you get it done sooner than later. 100 points is very valuable. If you recall, your midterm exam is worth 100 points. Your final exam is worth 100 points. So this is, this is, big, this is a big deal. So you're going to submit a typewritten paper that describes your worst experience with the manager. Please make sure that you do not include your manager's name to protect their identity. Um, I prefer that you didn't include your company name. Um, you'll also explain what the manager did or did not do that made your time working with them feel unbearable. What have you learned so far in this class that you could share with that manager to make him or her a better manager and leader? And if you had the opportunity to be promoted to that manager's position, what would you do differently? And how would you treat your employees differently? Don't forget that this paper must be a minimum of four double spaced pages. That means not single space, not triple space, not quadruple space. Um, and then, of course, nothing less than four pages. Do not turn in three and a half pages. Don't turn in three pages. Don't turn in two pages. It must be four double-spaced pages. 12-point font. No other font. Not 10, not 13, not 14, not 16. It must be 12-point font. Times New Roman. I'll accept comparable um, font type styles. Um, I prefer that it's not Arial. I know some people like Arial. Um, Times New Roman is usually the standard in academic writing, so that's the reason why I'm trying to keep you focused on what the academic standard is. Um, make sure that you're using black font color. Do not turn anything in, in pink, and although I love purple, don't turn anything in with purple font color, please. Black. Lastly, Make sure that if you have any themes, so just like how um, I separated the questions above um, right here, um, try to create separate headers for these. So you could do um, a header that said, you know, worst experience, a header that said, you know, uh, unbearable, you know, work life. Another header could say, um, uh, learning experience or whatever. Um, and another header could say, um, you know, uh, management differently or different management style or what I would do differently, whatever. However you want to break up these four categories, what I'd like you to do is, is to be able to see how you can separate those um, topics or those themes um, or important sections or however you want to do it. I just gave you that example of the questions because it's the easiest one. But anytime you guys have themes or topics or um, something that kind of needs to stand out on its own, you need to separate those with headers, right? They're in bold font um, and they're separate, they're, they stand above. And so that lets someone know, oh, th this, the writer is going into this new section. There's, they're almost like um, chapters, right? So you're going to create chapters in your, in your, um, your paper. Um, once again, make sure there's no spelling, no grammar, no punctuation, or formatting errors. I, I don't know how many times I have to like say this. I just refuse to accept um, those errors, especially from adult students. 
no spelling, no grammar, no punctuation or formatting errors. Would you submit um, a paper just riddled with errors to the CEO of your company or to a client? Um, no, you wouldn't. So don't submit those in for grading. I turn all projects in to the plagiarism check system to make sure that papers are not being recycled and that people aren't copying, pasting chunks of information from the internet or from, you know, what the textbook. Um, so it's all checked to make sure that everyone is submitting original work with original thought behind it. If you have any questions, please email me. Um, preferably before the end of the semester, <laughs> right? Um, I hope that this video has been helpful. I hope that it's further explained what was put in the individual project folder in the course room. Um, and I look forward to receiving your projects in the upcoming days. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon.